Hi everyone, I'm Corey Lekopoulos, Education Assistant here at Audubon Southwest. Our mission here at Audubon is to pick birds in the places they need today and tomorrow using advocacy, education, science, and on-the-ground conservation. Today we'll be going over some basic principles of pollination, the importance of the milkweed plant, and a basic tutorial on how to plant the milkweed seed. Do you know what pollination is? Pollination is when the pollen of one plant is spread to another plant of the same species. Now can you tell me the different parts of the flower? The petal, stamen, and pistil. The petal is the brightly colored part of the plant that helps attract pollinators. The stamen is where the male reproductive parts are housed and where pollen is produced. The pistil is where female reproductive parts are housed and where seeds and fruit are produced once fertilization takes place. Now for a quick demo on how pollination can occur. Here we have a bee visiting a plant gathering nectar and pollen. On its hind leg are specialized pockets that can store pollen that it can bring back to the hive. Now when a bee isn't out, it doesn't just visit a single plant, it will visit multiple plants at a time. When it visits these other plants, it's like gathering more nectar and pollen, but it's also transferring pollen from those previous plants into the flower where an awaiting egg or ovum can be fertilized. Can you think of some examples of pollen eggs that can be found here in Arizona? So pollinators that can be found here in Arizona include bees, bats, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Now the role these pollinators play in the environment are super important for plants and for humans as well. One out of every three bites of food and drink comes from a plant that needs to be pollinated by an animal. These can include apple, cotton, cocoa beans, and many more. Now can you tell me what happens to a plant after it's pollinated? The plant will produce a seed or a fruit. For a new plant to grow, the seed from the parent plant needs to find an area rich in resources. Can you tell me what would happen if a seed was planted right next to its parent plant? The two would become competitors in resources of sunlight, nutrients in the soil, and water, and then neither of them will be able to grow very well. Now, for the seed to grow, it needs to travel or disperse to a new area. This can happen with four different methods. First one is animal ingestion. This is what happens when the animal has to eat the seed or fruit to scarify it so that the seed will be able to grow in the ground when, it's, when it plants itself. This can be mesquite or the prickly pear. The next example is wind. This is what happens when the wind carries a seed across to be planted. This can happen with dandelions or desert worm. Next example is hitchhiking. This is what happens when the seed has to attach itself to an animal or person to get to a new area. This can happen with cocklebird and desert's claw. A final method of seed dispersal is explosion. This is what happens when the seed pops and forces the seed into a new area. This can happen with chuparosa and lupin. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about the milkweed plant and why it's important to a specific pollinator. Well, before we do that, looking at the picture below, can you determine what method of seed dispersal it uses? Then can you figure out which animal pollinates it, and then why the plant is important to that pollinator? The milkweed uses wind as its seed dispersal method, and then one of the primary pollinators of the milkweed plant is the monarch butterfly. Now the monarch butterfly uses the milkweed plant in all stages of its life cycle. The adult monarch butterfly will lay its eggs on the plant. When those eggs hatch, the caterpillar will eat its toxic leaves, making itself poisonous, thus protecting itself from predators. The caterpillar will make itself into a chrysalis on the plant, 
and then when the adult emerges from that chrysalis, it will eat its nectar. Now that we know a little bit about the milkweed and why it's important to monitor butterflies, let's learn how to plant one so we can help out our butterfly friends. Let's gather up our supplies. First off, we'll need a seed cell, then soil and a shovel, water, and finally our milkweed seed. First we'll take a cell and fill it with soil to the top, making sure it's nice and compacted. Next, we'll get our seed ready. Using our finger up to the first knuckle, make it indent in the soil to place the seed into, and then cover it back up. Next, add a little bit of water. Now the cell is ready to join the others in the greenhouse, and we're all done. Thanks for joining me today. Now you can always come visit the Rio Salado Habitat Restoration Area seven days a week from dawn till dusk to walk the trails and enjoy the wildlife. Thank you.